Hey everyone, so today's video is the Partners in Cream Project Pan Update. This was originally created by Steph Lines and Delin here on YouTube, so I'll have all the information linked down below in the description box and all the rules and everything like that in the description box for you guys to go and check out. If you want to participate in this project, I would highly recommend joining this project. I really love this concept of just panning a bunch of cream products since creams do tend to go bad more quickly than powder products. And I have accumulated a lot of creams over the past year or so. So I want to participate into the, in this project to get some cream products out of my collection. So I do have six cream products going at once in this project. I may bump it up to eight products because I am currently doing a lip product usage project pan. So once I finish with that project, I may roll in some lip products into this project. But for now, I only have six products. So this will probably be a pretty quick update, but let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So the first product I have here is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I do really, really enjoy this. Mine is in the shade four, Fair 4N, if you're wondering. And I only use this twice, so I don't wear foundation very often. And when I'm getting up for work at 6 a.m., the last thing I wanna do is put on a full face of foundation and like a full face of makeup. So I don't reach for this very often unless I actually have some extra time to do my makeup. So like I said, I reach for this twice. There's literally like no progress on it. I'm glad I did at least use it a couple times. I will just kind of keep chugging along with this product because I would like to finish off some of my foundations and just some skin tint type of products because I just tend not to reach for these. I mainly just use concealer to give some coverage to my face where I want coverage. So I just tend not to reach for foundation or skin tint type of products anymore. So I would like to get through some of these that are in my collection. So I probably will just keep this in potentially for the whole year. If I end up getting sick of it or maybe in the summertime, since this is like my perfect shade match right now, I do have a foundation that's slightly a little bit darker. So I might roll that one in, for example, in the summertime. So I plan on keeping this in for the foreseeable future. I may switch it out for another foundation that just matches me a little bit better in the summertime if I feel like I'm getting a little bit sick of this and I want to do that. So yeah, this only has two uses on it. There's really no progress. You can see I have used it a little bit. Obviously I've used it before I rolled it into this project. So there is sort of a little bit of a dent going in here, but from two uses, you're not gonna see any real progress. Then we have my Kosas Tropic Equinox Duo, and in here is a blush and a highlighter. I already had pan on the blush. This was in a project last year, so, I mean, on the highlight, it wasn't a project last year, so now I want to hit pan on the blush. And you can see I do now have a little bit of a dent going in here, so I have made some progress. I've only used this twice, and it looks like there's a good amount of usage on it. This product is very, very emollient. So you dip your finger in and I feel like it moves around a lot. So it might not be very difficult to hit pan on this. I feel like if I consistently use this, I will have pan on it within the next few months. I am also panning a couple other cream blushes as well as a powder blush though. So I haven't just consistently been using this. Like I said, I've only used it twice. So again, that's not a ton of use, but I do have another cream blush in this project that I'm almost done with. So when I finish off that other blush, I will use this a little bit more. I guess now I will show you the other cream blush that I have in this project. This is a stick cream blush from Nude Sticks. It is just a little mini and that is how much I have left. So clearly not very much at all. I did use up a good amount of this over the past month or so. So here are my progress lines. I used it nine times since last month. As you can see, I did use up about half of it. And I am really, really happy on my progress with this. I feel like I can finish this by the next update. Most likely by the next update, I will be pretty surprised if I don't finish it by then. And like I said, once I finish this one off, I'll be able to focus on the Kosas blush a little bit more. And then I do also have a stick cream highlighter. This is the Benefit What's Up highlight. I do have a good amount of this left, especially because this takes me so long to go through. When I use highlight, I literally just do two stripes on my cheeks. So I'm not using very much of this. And I did use this eight times, the same as the stick blush, but there is basically no movement on this. I don't know if you saw my lines when I showed you the other one, but that is my update 
or progress lines basically I drew a line right next to the old one so there's really not much movement on that highlight which is kind of sad and I'm kind of discouraged by but I know that highlight is going to take a while to go through this is another one where if I get a little bit sick of it because this will probably be in for the majority of the year I may roll it out for a different cream highlighter because there is another cream highlighter specifically my other nude sticks highlight little stick that I do want to finish off. So I may sort of intermittently roll the nude sticks stick blush or stick highlight in and roll this out for a little bit. So I do see myself potentially doing that in the summer, especially because the nude sticks one is a little bit deeper and I kind of just want this out of my collection. I, I mean, I've gotten this far on it, so I don't necessarily want to just declutter it because I made so much progress. I feel like I can finish it. So I would prefer to finish this rather than decluttering it, but I'm kind of getting a little bit sick of it just because I've had it in my collection for so long and it's not like a product I'd want to repurchase or anything. It is really pretty on the cheeks. It's just an average highlight though. It's nothing really special to me. So yeah, this one is gonna be another slow and steady one, but I'm hoping to just get it out of here by the end of the year. Then we have my Stila Glare and Glow. This one is the shade Monarch and I use this once. So I haven't made much progress on this, obviously. I can't really see through the packaging, although it is a pretty light iridescent shade. So I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like there's not much product in here. Like when I look in it, it doesn't look like there's a ton left, but I only use this once. So I'm probably not getting through this anytime soon. If anything, it may just dry up before I am able to get through it. So I don't use this very often. It is definitely like, it's obviously a glitter, so it's very intense on the eyes, even though you can use it sort of as a glitter topper. I should try to use this more often. I feel like I just kind of forgot about it, but I'm just gonna keep this in for now, see how it goes. I do have a couple other, I believe maybe one other Stila Glitter and Glue in my collection, so I may sort of switch those out depending on if I get sick of this or if I end up using it at all. And then lastly, in the intro, I did roll in my Kosas Sport Hyaluronic Lip Balm. This is in the shade Pulse, so it's a pretty bright reddish shade. And I do have quite a bit of this left. It was almost new when I rolled it in, but I did make a good amount of progress. So right here are my update lines. So as you can see, there is like a pretty good dent in there that I made this past month. I did use this probably over 20 times. I had tallied 20 times, but I was applying this multiple times a day because it is just a lip balm. But what I found is this is so pigmented. It's not really like a lip balm to me. It's pretty much like a lipstick. So I will be rolling this out just because it is so pigmented. I don't like applying it so many like I don't like applying it if I'm not wearing makeup first of all so I find that throughout the day I can't just keep reapplying it especially if I'm not wearing makeup because it will look a little bit weird so I prefer to pan like sort of more so glosses or like actual tinted lip balms that have a very light tint to them that aren't very pigmented and this is definitely probably like the most pigmented lip balm that I've tried and for me, it doesn't feel very lip balmy. Like it's not super nourishing on the lips to me. So I will be rolling this out. It's just not my favorite and I'm going to treat it more so as a lipstick than a lip balm. To replace that Kosas Sport lip balm, I will be rolling in a lip gloss. This is my Fenty Beauty lip balm or gloss balm in the shade Fussy. And I have used, I probably have about a third of this left. And these do take a while to go through. There's so much product in this. I feel like I've used this so much. I do really, really love these glosses. This is one of my favorite gloss formulas, but I haven't purchased from Fenty in a really long time. So I probably wouldn't end up repurchasing this just because I have so many glosses in my collection and I wanna get through a lot of them. But I would like to finish this off. I finished off Hot Chocolate last year. It wasn't too bad. I did actually end up taking the stopper out of that other one. And once you take the stopper out, there is a ton more product. So I will probably end up taking the stopper out of this. 
I probably will take the stopper out in a few months and then I'll have it done in another month or so. So I do foresee this being in the project for a little while, but it shouldn't be too difficult to finish up because this is one that's pretty clear and just gives a really intense gloss to the lips. So I can just reapply this multiple times a day, like over and over again, and it is pretty nourishing on the lips as well. So I do really love this gloss and I do see myself being able to finish this within a few months probably by like june or july like the midway point of the year and those are all six products that are now in this project i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoy panning these cream products especially because i've been obsessed with cream products lately so i mostly only wear creams on my face and if anything i'll apply creams and then i'll apply a powder over top but i'm almost always or pretty much always applying creams to my face. So let me know your favorite cream products down below in the comments. Also, let me know if you guys are participating in this project and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do post new videos three times a week. So if you wanna see more from me, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.